Good morning everybody. It is Monday the 13th of November. I can't believe where this year is going. Um, it'll be Christmas and New Year before we know it, won't it? Now last night it rained really heavily, but now the sun's come out and it's beautiful. Very bizarre. So Paul's having a rest upstairs, Jennifer's in school. I'm just um, editing last week's weekly vlog. I'm going to put the images on that I took of my completed colouring pages which you'll have seen by the time you do this and my book haul I have not yet filmed my reading wrap up but I will do that probably today um, so I'm going to get all this stuff sorted and then I'm going to crack on with a bit of eBay get some listings done I've got some stuff to sort I want, I've got a train set I want to test so I might set that up if I can um, and yeah I'm just going to try and plod through I have got some orders to pack I'll try and remember to take you with me I've got seven which is quite good um, not a huge value, the, the most, I mean, I'd had some films for 26 quid, um, a top for 15, a top for 10, and some lower priced items, which gets rid of them, which is great. So I've just got a cup of tea here now, I've got my laptop, and I am just going to carry on um, trying to get this sorted. My book's over there for the uh, other thing, that's good, I'll get that in a minute. And uh, I'm going to crack on, so, yeah. Go. So I had a quick look at the train set. The one I've looked at is not going to work. I can still list it as vintage uh, display um, piece, spares, repairs, project, you know, so that people can, you know, as long as I put that in, put it on for 20 quid with free shipping, send it by every, should be fine, uh, which is what I'll do. It's still saleable. It's just not going to be as good as if it was working all that will happen is and next time I do some photographing down here it'll get photographed with the pieces um, and so on I'll bring another one down have a look at that and see if that one will work like again if they don't I'll just listen with spares and repair I just want to get everything done and sorted so yeah I'm gonna crack on I'm currently um, sorting out slides this is a slide box I've got it's a great slide box again I could potentially sell this uh, once I've uh, got all the slides out so I, I'm Bob putting them into packs of 100 um, so it's going to take me a little while so I've got loads of them I've got some upstairs I've got some up the bedroom I'm going to crack on because I can hear Paul coming down as you see guys I'm up in the shed a few things to pack seven to pack and post got that bag of Boxes of packs of slides to go away. There's more slides down there. As you can see, it's a right mess. I need to go try and get this tidied up and sorted. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm always exhausted, though. Sometimes I wonder what the point is. Um, there we go. So I'm going to get this done, and then it'll be nearly time to get Jen. You see, it's very grey. It's very windy. Next year, next door's awning is going again. I'll message her in a minute. Let's have a look. Yeah, collapsing. So, it's just very windy. It's horrible. So, yeah. Oh, we can see the cat. She's just up in the window. You can't really see her, but I can just see her little ears. There she is, look there. You might see what she does if you're lucky. Sad! <laughs> she just walks across the top. Watch, watch this. This thing. She's so, so. Cats are amazing. Look at her. She goes down there. And there she comes. There. Hey, Zeddy. Hi, baby. Yeah, the grass is long again. She went to cut it though. Hi. Hi, beautiful. Right, time to crack up. So, um, yeah, it's Tuesday night and I haven't vlogged all day because I forgot. Uh, so Jennifer's in sleeping bed, it's night time, and me and Paul are going to sit and watch Ghostbusters Afterlife in bed. Because I haven't seen it yet, and the new one's out next year, because, you know, they just keep on coming. So yeah, I'm also reading. 
this book now. Oh, and I went in the charity shop and saw my friend from School Gates and we bought books. She bought for like four um, because she was only about like two. But I said, no, I'll buy four because then it's an even pound. She went, it's a good idea. And I bought six. I've got enough to read to last me the next couple of years. Well, at least the next year and a half. And that's if I read everything and didn't buy anything else. Anyway, I'm going to watch Ghostbusters. So we just watched Ghostbusters Afterlife. I'll be honest, I wanted to watch it because the next instalment for his Empire is out next year. Oh God, I loved it. It was so brilliant watching it and it, all the little flashbacks to the original and not literally flashbacks, they did show some of it obviously on a computer screen, clips on YouTube, but little in jokes, little nods to the very first story. Uh, I must admit, I shed a tear at the end. I always do, I get quite emotional. Of course, at the end it says for Harold, because of course Harold Ramis passed away. He played Egon Spengler and uh, his ghost does appear. So it's amazing what they can do with technology. It's really moving, that end bit. So yeah, I'm glad I watched that. I really enjoyed it. I, love, I do like, love a good movie. Um, so now I've currently got all three of the Ghostbusters. I haven't got the female reboot. Um, I just don't think it was a good idea. I'm not against having female Ghostbusters, obviously. Spengler's granddaughter is the main one in this series. And why can't we just have mixed casts of male and female? Why does it have to be all male or all female? I get what it was in the 80s. It was the 80s at a different time. But even now, why does it have to be all female? Why can't it be a couple, a, a man and three girls? Or two men, two girls? One girl through guys, you know. I'm not one of those who say you have to have a female version of everything, but have a mixed version. I'm off to bed. Might read for a bit. Hi everybody, it's Wednesday and we are in the court um, to do some sourcing. Just have a wonder, Paul needs some shoes, get Jennifer some trainers while she's in school. So yeah, we're just gonna have a look round. As you can see, they're getting ready for Christmas. They've started. See what it's like when it's done in a few weeks. Unless this is it, you know, you never know with them. See, it's still a beautiful day, look at that. Just sitting down for a minute, just had some lunch in Subway, didn't we? Yes, we did. Yeah. Look at his arm. Yeah. Oh, crumbs fella. on it. It's got crumbs on it. It's from your sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> so just having a walk round now. Up to scope. Have a look in there. We are back home now, and I've just got TikTok on. I'm sorting out more washing, because that's what I do. No, seriously, I bought 15 items in town to uh, list on eBay and reset, try and resell. Um, two men's shirts, the rest are ladies' wear, some trousers, a skirt, tops, and dresses. So tomorrow I'll be going to my mum's to photograph them, so anything really good, I will show you then. Um, but yes, I am now sorting out the washing. I did buy another four books in the charity shop. Again, they were only 25 pence each, so I'm not that worried. But hey, yeah, I'm still buying books because, you know, I haven't got enough to read. You know, 300 odd. No, not enough. Good morning. It is Thursday morning. Jennifer is all pulled upstairs resting and I'm watching Adam Mark Explores on YouTube. I feel really a bit dopey this morning. I haven't woken up properly yet. I don't know why. Um, I'm going down to my mum's to do photographs in a bit, so I'm looking forward to doing that. So I'm just chilling for a bit, because I know that's quite hard work, so... Yeah. But it's really nice. I'm looking forward to getting down there and getting some photos done, get back into everything. I will put some listings up in a bit. Just so tired. But I'm just going to chill for a little bit longer. Um, probably do a little bit in a minute on the laptop. To the plan. So I'll show you what I bought yesterday. When we get there, um, to Mum's. And hopefully we might get some sales out of it, you never know. But anyway, I will see you in a little bit. Okay guys, here I am at Mum's. You can see Maisie's behind me. She's headless at the moment, but that's because I can't be asked to put her head on. And it doesn't really matter because it doesn't appear in the photos anyway, so... I just can't be bothered to do anything. I was like that this morning, I just don't want to do anything, I want to sleep. 
Um, it's this weather. I think it's so horrible and grey out today. Yesterday was beautiful um, and rainy and wet and we're under a weather warning for severe rain right up until midnight tonight. No, it's not raining at the moment. Hooray! Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do a bit now and have some lunch. Then I've got to go to Lidl's to get some more potatoes for tea because I'm lazy. I'm going to boil potatoes but I'm not peeling them. I just buy them ready peeled in a tin because they're cheap and I'm lazy. Um, then I'll pick up Jen. I am not going in the charity shop today. I don't need to. I've got nothing to post. So I'm not going in the charity shop today to buy any books. Okay? No need. I was going to sit in the car and wait to pick Jen up after I've picked up my... Oh, look. Maisie's bum. Um, after I've picked up my potatoes. I just sit and uh, play on my phone. I've got my charger here. So when I'm having my lunch, I can put my phone on charge. Because it will kill it, me photographing it. Because sometimes I use the, the torch as well. So let's have a look at what we've got. So I've got a couple of big bags to put stuff straight back into. I've got two bags of stuff that I bought yesterday. Some dresses. This is a nice dress. It feels very nice and soft and slinky. And it's by Banana Republic. And it was a pound. In fact, everything I bought was a pound. I actually bought 15 um, items. I've also got some of Paul's uh, tops here and some trousers that I had to wash before I could photograph them. Um, so I've got a lot to be getting on with, more than 15, probably about nearer 25 to 30, so that's good. But if I don't do it all today, I can come back into it on Monday. So I'm going to crack on and I'll show you some of this, the nice bits, in a minute. So here's one of the dresses I bought yesterday. Isn't that stunning? It's size 10 UK by Quiz. I think that was a set of six. In the States, I think they're two sizes smaller than ours. Or are they two sizes bigger than ours? I'm not sure. I can never remember which way it goes. Anyway, it's a UK 10. So that'll be up on the eBay shop sometime next week, hopefully. It's really pretty. Another gorgeous dress I bought. This one's Red Heron. Size 16 UK, which I have checked, which is a 12 in the US, so they're two sizes smaller than us. I just love these gorgeous party dresses. I can't help buying them, especially I know I'm going to put them up at a profit, but I know when they're only a pound, I put them for 12 and sell them for 10, I ain't got a problem with. It's not huge profits, but it's nice and it's just gorgeous. Can you imagine? That'd be nice to go out in, wouldn't it? You know? It's a lovely dress. Hi, uh, I'm done. I've still got 15 items left to photograph, including the jacket which my dad said he's worn twice and he don't want, so. It is a nice, it's a dress jacket. I am absolutely shattered. So I've got 15 to do. I'm pretty sure I've got about 15 done. Because I bought 15 yesterday and I've only got four of those left, so that's 11 and I've done some others as well. So, that's good. I don't know when I'm going to get back to do photographing though because tomorrow I'll be measuring this lot and I've got some stuff to photograph at home so I'm going to do that and some more slides to sort. So that's tomorrow's job and then Monday we've got the will people phone in so that's going to interrupt that day. Tuesday I'm taking my mum to the doctors because she's having an assessment. Wednesday I've got the dentist, I've got to check the time. And we want to go out again next week, so we might not get to go out till Thursday, but we'll see. Um, I don't think this is at 2 o'clock, actually, so Paul might have to pick Jen up. I don't think he will, but he might. Anyway, I'm going to go and find some lunch um, and start getting this stuff onto my phone and pre-draft. Thursday night, everybody's in bed. Um, I am trying to read... The summer Welsh lesson. I'm teaching myself Welsh. You was in Duolingo. I'm not sure if I told you. Obviously, the first and most important word they teach you is drag, which is dragon. But you know, I'm only doing like a few minutes a day, just simply because I <sighs> guess so much else to do. Um, I've hardly done any colouring this month so far. Maybe about five pages. Just I'm not in a colouring mood. I'm not in a slump. I've just got other things to do. Currently trying to read this now. It's all right, there's nothing wrong with it. But she doesn't use quote marks when people are speaking, so it tends to just run into one, and I don't know who's saying what half the time. So I find that very annoying. So it's lost at least one and a half stars on that, so it's currently at three and a half stars, which would be three, because Goodreads only measures in three. Um, and it's very slow. Very slow going. Um, excuse me. But there, there you go. 
I've got a bit of a toothache, which is great. Well, it's not great, obviously, but I mean, I haven't called the dentist simply because I'm going to the dentist next week anyway, and they won't be able to fit me in until next week, probably, so it is what it is. Um, so I'm going to take some paracetamol, and I'm going to read for a bit and go to sleep. Now, it is Children Need Day tomorrow, which is a big charity over in the UK. Pudsy Bear. Jennifer gets to go to school in her own clothes tomorrow, so she's well happy. It's break a rule day, so they can wear pyjamas, they can dress up as um, in their favourite fancy dress, um, or they can wear their own clothes. So just donation of two quid, which is fine, don't have a problem with that. And, uh, yeah. Her cat's being a bit weird. She's not eating properly. And she's very, very, sorry, Zed, clingy, following me around. I mean, she follows me around anyway, but she's just been out in the garden and she's come back in now and she's sitting on the bed by me. Um, what else? That's about it. Tomorrow's plan is to draft and list on eBay and fingers crossed we might get some sales over the weekend. I'm going to have to look for a job as well, but, yeah, it is what it is. Um, here's my girl. Yeah. It's quite funny because I went to the bathroom and I'm sitting there on the loo and she gets up and jumps in the bath. Now, there's no water in the bath, obviously. And she just walks up to the taps and sits there and I'm like, do you want a bath? <laughs> she doesn't. She hates water. But uh, yeah, she's licking my hand now. She's sweet. I hope you're all right, Zeddy. I don't have to take you to the vet. You hate the vet, don't you? Anyway, that's it for tonight. I'm going to read for a bit. Um, yeah, I will let you know how I get on if I read much of it tonight. I just don't know if I can be bothered with it. Um, it's not bad enough to DNF, but it's not good enough to make me want to sit and read for hours and hours and hours. And But I'll see you. Sorry. You can hear rumblings, people putting their bins out because it's bin day tomorrow. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's Friday. Yeah, Friday. I don't know what day it is anymore. Um, I'm about to do some measuring and stuff we photographed yesterday. I've already done my accounts, put some listings live. Paul's uh, doing the meter readings. <laughs> Jennifer's at school. And it's all good in the hood. Apart from Paul's still hurting, obviously, because of his poor arm. So I'm going to get measuring this stuff so I can get it listed ready for next, get it ready for next week. Um, it's not very exciting, but yeah, that's what I'm doing today. <sighs> Carry on. Okay, everybody, I did my um, eBay for today. Um, I'm going to do a bit of colouring now. What I have done is I have done a, a video as well for YouTube, which is my reading wrap-up for the month of October. Um, I do want to try and do a colouring chat soon as well. Um, I don't know when that'll be, though. I might try and do it this evening. Um, just come up and use the office. Because I'd like to. I haven't done one for a while. Um, lots, lots going on. Um, I've been really tired, so that's why I haven't. So guys, sorry, I will be back soon. I'm just trying to, it's just so, what with, it's like, <sighs> Paul broke his arm, as you know, so I'm doing stuff for him. He is doing as much as he can. To be fair play to him, he's doing really well. Um, obviously, Jennifer needs looking after. Um, I've got a load of appointments myself. I was supposed to go to the dentist next week. I'm now going today because they called me with a cancellation, which is better because I have got a bad tooth. So that'll be great. And I can get the a, 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 probably a fill-in booked in. Um, then, of course, I've got running my mum and dad around. My dad's still got a car, but he's not sure whether he's going to keep it. He's saying he might give it to me for Christmas just simply because he's not very confident in driving it with his bad knee, which is fine. He has been driving it, and he is insured, so that's the main thing. You can always cancel that later. It's fine. Um, but, yeah, so... I mean, I've got, I've got, it's like next week, we've got appointments all week. So we've got the Wills people calling on Monday. Um, I'm taking my mum up to the doctors on Tuesday. A Wednesday is now free. Hooray! Thursday, I've got blood tests in the morning because they're fasting blood tests. So that's not too bad. That, that'll be over by nine o'clock. I'll give you the rest of the day free. But it just seems to be everything's happening at once. There's school stuff for, at school going on. So they've got the school fair. There's, um, you know, craft fair. Um, the concert, they've got um, Children Need Day Today so it's, all, it's something going on all the time and this is what December's like as well so December we will be doing daily vlogs so they'll be shorter and won't be all in one go but so what will happen is at the end of the month because I know the end of the month 
see if I can find a diary. That's this next year's, but this should have like this year's diary in it. Oh no, it's got 25. Has it got anything else? Has it got... uh, here we are, 2023. So the last day of November is Thursday the 30th. So next week's vlog will be the last weekly vlog of the year. I will then have uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday off. And then on the 1st of December, we will start the daily vlogs. They will be shorter. Hopefully I'll be able to get them up the same night before I go to bed. So that's brilliant. Yeah, so... And then at the end of the, the month, it works out quite well. 31st is Sunday, according to this. So, obviously, the last vlog will be on uh, Monday the 25th, because that's Christmas Day. I will then take the week up, rest of the week off and start again on January the 1st, which is a Monday. So that's that's it. So I will. Uh, that's the plan for December and Vlogmas. I like to do one on Christmas Day, just so that you can see what Jennifer's been given from us and everybody else, because it's just nice. It's nice to have a video of her opening her presents and everything. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to uh, crack on now uh, with a bit of colouring. It's a bit cold up here, so I'm not going to stay up here for long. I'm not going to lie. And I want to get this video edited together. And I, I don't want to eat, though, because we're going to the dentist. Anyway, I will see you a bit later on. We're planning on going up the pub later. Would they like to have some fish and chips? Mm. See you later. Back home now. Um, yeah, so I went to the dentist. No problems. Um, they th she thinks it's just a slight infection in the gum that will go away on its own. But they want me to have a crown on my um, root canal tooth, which is fine. But it's like two hundred three pound, which I know in the grand scheme of things not a lot. But when you haven't got a job, it's a fair bit. We've been up the pub, we had something to eat, we had two drinks and something to eat, which was really nice. Jennifer's watching and pretending to make a video on uh, Paul's Kindle Fire. I'm uploading and putting my October reading wrap up live. I went to the library, got this book. <laughs> and I'm going to sit and colour for a bit now. Might as well. Something to do. I haven't coloured much this month, so I'm looking forward to it. So I'm just going to sit and colour for a couple of hours. And yeah, I will see you before bed when I will probably start reading this as well as continue with the Sally Rooney book, which I actually found yesterday was easier to read in chunks of a chapter and then take a break. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll read a chapter, then I was playing on, on the um, list challenges, and then I went back and read a bit more and so on. So I'm going to carry on doing that. Oh, I'm so tired though. I'm so glad it's Friday, even though I probably have to work tomorrow and get some more listings sorted for eBay. Good morning. It is Saturday. We are going to go to the library because Jennifer's books have got to go back today. And my one. I'll take that back as well. I did get one out yesterday when I was passing after being at the dentist. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a crown and that's okay. Apart from the cost. Still looking for jobs. Not getting anywhere. Pretty much lost all my confidence since losing my other job. Um, so at the point now I don't think anybody will ever give me a job and it's starting to get me down but I've got to keep trying, so I am looking. I applied for one today, so it's not that I'm not trying. Let's just find something that's suitable and that I can do. But there you go. Anyway, to the library. <laughs> just take the books back. It's a horrible day out, it's very grey. Good morning. Well, it is Sunday, and we got to do the most exciting job of the week go shopping. Joy. And then there's more washing for me. Joy. But we'll crack on with it. Come on, Jan, get your shoes on, stop watching that. Ah, another week over. What is going on? It's going so fast. And it's horrible out. It's really windy. Mm. So I haven't done much vlogging Sunday, so I'm just going to call it quits. Um, I'm probably just going to do a bit of a reading vlog, maybe a little bit of a weekly vlog. It won't be very long. Probably this time of year, uh, like next week. It gets very busy. I've got a lot going on this week. I've got, uh, we've got discussing our wills. Um, I've got to take my mum to the doctors. I've got the doctors. There's tons of stuff going on for Jennifer. So this is the time of year where I generally everything slows down. So my colouring slows down, my reading sort of stays the same because it's one thing I do try and do. Um, 
but getting ready for Christmas is obviously taking a lot of time. So I'm going to go and I will see you next week.